Now, the MSU Federal Credit Union Coaches Show. I'm not here to make any excuses about the behavior, but I think it's important to uh, remember that it is a great tradition. It is a great rivalry. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to coach and play in that game, and we need to treat it special. I told the team um, that it's not how you start, it's how you finish. That's how this team will be remembered, and there's a lot of football left to be played. In the 115 year history of the storied rivalry between Michigan and Michigan State, there's never been a post game incident like the one that occurred in the tunnel at Michigan Stadium following the Wolverines 29 to 7 win. And as a result, Mel Tucker suspended eight of his players. He initially suspended four on Sunday, but after reviewing more video of the altercation, he handed out four more suspensions on Tuesday. These events from Saturday have consumed his entire week, and it's where we begin our chat. Yeah, well, I think it's important um, to say that we respect the rivalry. We respect the traditions of the Big Ten and, you know, really what this game, you know, means. And, you know, I'm not here to make any excuses about the behavior during the game, you know, those incidents. But I think it's important to uh, remember that it is a great tradition. It is a great rivalry. Um, it's an honor and a privilege to coach and play in that game and we need to treat it special. It seems like over the years, maybe within the last five, and I don't know if this is because of social media and just how people are able to banter back and forth, whether it's a fan base or players and they see it, but how much do you think that it's sort of hurt the rivalry and what it should be when it comes to the buildup to the game and how people just maybe get so charged up for it? Yeah, well, you know, my experience in, in rivalries is that uh, that's the nature of, of rivalries like this. Places that I've been, whether it's, you know, Ohio State, Michigan, you know, Michigan, Michigan State, um, Auburn, Alabama, you know, Georgia, Florida, they're like highly, highly, you know, charged. Emotions are high. Uh, the fan bases go back and forth. It's not just game week, it's, it's the entire year. You know, it's 365, you know, everyone, has something to say about it. You know, people are choosing sides. Um, and it's, uh, it, it feels like more than just a game, you know. And so, uh, you know, with social media now and, uh, you know, everyone uh, able to project their voices um, in so many different ways, I think it just adds to the rivalry. And I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing the traditions of a game like this, and, the, and they're very, very special. Um, and I think we have to keep that in mind. We have to embrace that. What happened uh, Saturday was unacceptable, and there's, there's, no, there's no doubt about that. Um, and so, uh, you know, we'll move, we'll move forward, um, but we'll always keep in mind that, you know, these rivalries, um, this one in particular, is very special and it's important to a lot of people. Well, right, and nobody wants to see the events transpire the way that they did after the game. As a result, you suspended players. What went into the decision to suspend them? And do you feel as though that is the accurate way to go about a punishment for them? You know, I got with our athletics director, um, Alan Haller, also reached out to the Big Ten office and got as much um, of the evidence that I could everything that was available, um, you know, Sunday morning, you know, I, I received and I spent um, pretty much the entire day, you know, on Sunday, you know, reviewing the information, came to a determination that this was the next right step to take, was to suspend the players. We're all about trying to do the right thing, you know, integrity, uh, transparency, you know, accountability. Um, and so, you know, that was, um, those actions really point to, you know, the values of this university um, and our football program. What do all goes into a suspension for a player? A suspension uh, for our players means that um, they still have academic support. They still have um, access to all medical services, but they won't be participating in any of the organized team activities. So they won't be in our meetings. Uh, they won't be um, in practice. 
There won't be any uh, strength and conditioning, uh, no weight room, um, and they won't be playing in games. And so uh, that's really what uh, suspension in this case entails. The suspensions were effective immediately and they will remain in place until the investigations are complete. Additionally, all eight players are defensive players and going forward, the one the Spartans are going to miss the most is linebacker and defensive end Jacoby Winman. The senior transfer from UNLV started every single game this year and he was also the first player in program history to be named the Big Ten Defensive Player of the Week three times in one season. So where do the Spartans go from here? Tucker explains when we come back. As we go to break, Farm Bureau Insurance invites you to register to win an exclusive private dinner with head coach Mel Tucker. Go to InsideTheGreenSweeps.com to register. Want unlimited cash back on every single purchase you make? With an MSU FCU Platinum Plus Visa or an MSU FCU Visa Signature, that's what you'll get. Unlimited cash back. Choose from a variety of card designs, Redeem your cash back at any time in any amount and enjoy benefits like an exclusive welcome offer, travel accident insurance, and roadside dispatch. Get your MSU FCU cash back card today. Just stop by a branch or visit us online at msufcu.org.